Hey folks, we got Hurricane Burrow coming in. Uh, just gonna get some rain from it, probably maybe a little thunderstorm. I think Mexico took the, the brunt of it and it's coming up towards Texas now. But we're gonna get some rain, uh, hopefully nothing too severe. But before we get that rain, and I think it's supposed to rain for like 10 days, last time I, I looked, or a small chance for 10 days, it's like 40, 50%. But for uh, my oldest boy's mowing the grass, we just got done fixing or changing lawnmower blades. I'm gonna jump in the Kubota. The front of my property, it has probably like a, I don't know, about a half acre section that uh, whenever you're going down the driveway, if that stuff gets tall, it makes it hard to see what's coming from the left side when you're turning on the highway. Anyway, I'm gonna go brush hog that down before it rains so that I can go ahead and get that knocked out before it gets wet. Let's head that way. You can definitely see uh, to the south of me. You can see it's getting a lot cloudier back there. Nothing too crazy. According to the radar, it's actually gonna come from the northwest for us because uh, the, the rainstorms are gonna spin clockwise around the hurricane or, or what's left of it and it's actually going to come from this way and give us a little bit of rain according to the, the weather channel's radar so anyway let's jump in the Kubota and uh go brush hog real quick So this is the very front section of our property. Like I said, it's probably about half an acre or so. But we have a really sharp curve here. So when you get up to the end of the driveway, you actually can't even see to the left, but a little bit. So typically, we'll get right about, oh, we'll get there sooner or later. We'll get roughly about here. You know, we can see down that curve, but obviously once we get to the end of the driveway, we can't see down here no more. And if you're in my wife's SUV or the Camry, you're sitting about that high. So as you can tell, once you, uh, once it gets a little bit taller, you're not going to be able to see anything. But this stuff, uh, relatively tall. So I'm six foot five. And you can see some of those seed heads are about to my head, if not over my head. So that's that's six foot, probably six-ish right there. So some of the stuff's getting pretty tall. But I'm about to eat this up really easy. This is uh, really what this uh, land fried brush hog keeps made in the most, kind of more stuff like this. We take it a little bit more extreme. If y'all see some of my older videos, we do uh, much more severe stuff than this. So, so let's uh, hop in the Kubota. We'll make a make a loop, and uh, hopefully get this done before the uh, the rain starts. Should be able to. I think uh, I think we got an hour or two before it hits, according to the, the weather channel. So, all right, all right, back in the tractor. Let's start the uh, PTO. Up to 540. Alright. Let's make us a quick pass. Oh, not that quick. <laughs> that didn't work here getting down the driveway.
we had come through here. Uh, oh, that was a couple years ago. It's been a while since we've had a hurricane in my neck of the woods. I like to keep it that way.
little bit, almost done. up to the back end to the top of the back tire. Maybe I'll not do that's all it is. done with this area it looks really really clean uh, there was another area I was hoping to do today but as you can tell the, uh, the rain's about to be here so that's northwest from the property uh, Texas is that way so the hurricane is coming up from Mexico going kind of through Texas anyway what it spins clockwise it's gonna put all those rain clouds this way so you can definitely tell how dark it's getting and kind of look down that way and just looks clear everything looks nice so just see how dark it's getting let's see walk down this kind of see how much better we can see down there and as you can tell we can see everything down there clearly and that we have the six foot tall grass and weeds out the way only thing I really couldn't get through was this stuff here because the 10 foot brush hog just can't fit. The uh, tractor can't fit between the post and this yellow uh, cable or steel cable, but it can between the post and that steel cable, but the brush hog can. Anyway, so if I had more time, I could get my old tractor with the 6 foot brush hog and I could brush hog that pretty easily. But uh, as y'all can see back behind me, we do not have time. So I'm going to head up to the house, get everything secured. I'm not sure if we're going to have high winds with this or not. Uh, the wind's definitely picked up with it. So we have got to make sure nothing's loose that's going to get blown all over the place. And then make sure we get everything put up. Uh, it, uh, it's moving in pretty quick. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video and look forward to doing more content in the future. I'm going to try to keep up the pace uh posting videos every saturday monday and wednesday so far we're good for this week however starting next weekend i'm kind of concerned because it's supposed to be raining for like 10 days from this so uh, as y'all know almost everything i do is outdoors because it's a farm and uh you know it doesn't go well with a camera and it raining outside so plus you know big heavy tractor uh tends to sink a lot and I'm not too fond of standing in the rain all the time. Anyway, I don't know if y'all hear that thunder, but I'm headed to the house. Thank y'all for joining me on the farm today. 
Y'all have a wonderful weekend. If you're in the area of this weather, y'all be safe. Talk to y'all next time.